It is strange, my newfound friends. Of all the things that I miss from my homeland Barovia, it is Brandywine that I most wish to relive once more. Brandywine! Alcohol in a desert! It would be like poison! And yet, I crave its taste on my lips once more. You know, of all the things we experienced while we were in Barovia, the Brandywine has stuck in my mind. It's a beverage like no other, indeed. I've tried many other alcohols since then, and nothing's even come close. Ah, Brandywine. I brought some with me when I accidentally came here. It's all gone, unfortunately. Even the dregs within the bottles. A shame. Perhaps if we can get you back to Barovia, you can taste that once more. I have given up on that dream, I'm afraid. I think I am to be stuck here forever. Don't think like that. We'll find a way out of here, and you can find a way back to Barovia. And what would be there waiting for me? My family is gone, it is just myself. No, no, I fear this will become my grave. Not if we can help it. Let's keep exploring. There's one place I want to check out before we go back to that obelisk. As you wish, my friends. Hey folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ravenloft Stone Prophet. Wait, last we left off, we encountered man scorpion things as we explored about in the desert. Now I've done a bit of research into where I want to go because there's somebody I want to find. And if we check the map, we want to make our way... You see that sphinx there in the uh, top left? We want to make our way past it towards that ominous skull-like doom thing. Yeah, we want to go there. But not too far in that direction because ultimately we just want to find one NPC. Now can you use... I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't use the axe. Okay, you cannot use the axe, but you can use that. And actually, what I want to do is I want to have a look at your health. Your health is 34, 34. Actually, right now, having you there is preferable. So we want to head north. We want to head north as quickly as we can, and we want to make sure that we don't go into the burning wall of Ra. Yeah, we want to sort of head a little bit northwest. It's very dark. Fortunately, uh, certain points are visible, even in the gloom. At least it is easier to travel at night. Uh, can't see what's coming, though. Indeed. How about thee? There we go. Taken care of. And we can keep heading north. I don't know if that enemy was always there, or if they uh, spawned in, but we got rid of them. Okay, we have made it to where I want to be. Over here, and I want to be sort of about here-ish. Where that- oh! More of them! We can take them. That we can. Quick and easy. Good. I'm glad to have traveling companions that are capable warriors as well as noble of heart. We want to be here. Now let us rest. Ah, we can't rest right now. Is that because there are hostile people nearby? Probably. Let's go over to here. Can we... Well, that would explain the hostile foes. There you are, hello! We have some desert zombies that we will just take out here. And is that enough? The answer is... No! Still enemies nearby. What about here? It says... Yeah, too many monsters about. Yeah. Too many monsters about. Okay, what if I were to rest here? Still too many monsters about. Okay. Game's not going to give me the opportunity to rest. That is unfortunate. Uh, can I rest here? No! Alright, I'm just going to keep following the wall here until... Until we don't find enemies. Okay. We're right by the wall again of... Uh, fire. We rest here. Still too many monsters about. 
You just can't rest in the desert, it would seem, sometimes. We've still not found a safe place. Now I can barely see in front of me. There will be somewhere. The desert may be harsh, but there are oases of calm. I haven't found one yet. Yeah, I really want to find somewhere to rest. Can't rest here either. Can't find anywhere to rest. And we literally cannot see anything. Nope, still nothing. Okay, there's a structure here. Can we rest by this? No! We can't rest in the structure either. We can rest in the structure, okay. Whew. Well, that was a long-winded diversion, but it worked. We're by that obelisk that the villagers talk about. We don't want to go there just yet, but we will soon. We saw a strange thing within there. But I want to check this area first, just to fill in our map a bit more. As you wish. Up here is the loading screen for a new area. And we're going to save before we go in, because there are some very dangerous foes in this area. Ah, we need to uh, do that. Okay, so if I go here... We are brought to here. Now this is a place with lots and lots of items and what looks like an enemy over there. Is that what I think it is? I think it might be. Doesn't seem able to get to us right now. There's one there too. That one doesn't seem hostile though. It's wounded. Are you sure we should be going to this thing? It's a troll. I know, but it's wounded, and it will lash out at us if we get close. I don't think it will. It might. We've got to help it. It's as much a prisoner here as we are, if you insist. Be still, young troll. No reason to match our strength against your injuries. Let us pass without trouble. No, hurt I. No, hurt I! Away, not crutch they! Away, they say! Beat, hit, hit! A crutch go away! No, hurt I! It appears injured, this troll of a desert. Might have wounded it so that it cannot regenerate the damage. What her hurt! Not crutch! Ring, water, hurt, knife in water, fire too, teeth in water, bite a drug, cloth in water, fire too. No hurt I? Is that a plea for us not to attack or a promise of good behavior? Is Nagrag the leader of the trolls? The one who banished poor Ankrag here? Nagrag hate little man. He see you, he attack. He kill, hit, hit, hit. I no like him. If I understand this creature correctly, he's been burned by water. Its touch must be like acid to them. A useful point to keep in mind. We did read about this, I know. But it's good to see that this has been confirmed. What her bad? Hurt, hurt, uncrug bad. Little man, make hurt go away. He seems to understand us after a fashion. Perhaps we should take him along and tend his wounds. Such a strapping young lad might prove worth his weight and muscle. I reluctantly agree. He's willing to come with us, having a troll on side would be indeed beneficial. Would you like to come along? Ankrug like you, yes. Ankrug follow, yes. Do you, Ankrug, swear never to eat us? 
To walk ahead if we ask, at spring traps whenever possible. To be loyal, good and true. Ankra good. Swear not, eat little man. Ankra stay. Do you mash and bury? Good enough swearing for me. Although I was joking about the trap thing. Come along then, Ankrag, and perhaps we shall expend some of our resources to heal you as well. Water damage seems worse than the rest for you. You must not be able to regenerate from it. Right, we're gonna leave! Because that other troll will not follow us when we do. Okay, other things we're gonna do is we're gonna change our ordering. We're gonna move you to here, so you are in the front row. Now, Ankrag is a very interesting case of a character. I've looked up Ankrag, and uh, you'll see why he's useful. First, cure serious wounds. This will reactivate Ankrag's regeneration. For Ankrag being a troll, Ankrag can regenerate. Secondly, Ankrag has no water meter, because water is like acid to Ankrag. As for what Ankrag is like stat-wise, Ankrag is a 7th level fighter, with 18 slash 0 0 strength, and 60 maximum hit points. You'll note, however, that there is no next level. Ankrag is stuck at 7th level. That said, a Desert Troll fighter is extremely useful, and the Desert Trolls are capable of attacking from the back row. So we have a fighter who can fight regardless of where they are. And if we check your hit points, you should be able to start regenerating soon, I think. Uh, if we get another heal here... You should start regenning. You're at, what, 24? If we start making our way south now... Ooh, also, we should grab a water skin while we're here. A water skin to see if we can hand that over to the beggar. Now. The other downside of Ankrag is a reduced inventory. Only eight slots. Not great, but I'll take that when we have a capable backline fighter who doesn't need any weapons. Ankrag has claws, and that is sufficient. I think there might be some armor for him. I would be surprised if there wasn't. His armor class is only four. Ankrag happy for healing. Ankrag like little men. We're glad to have you along. If you see any others of your fellows, you'll let us know, right? Ankrag hate other trolls. Ankrag will tell you. Not much of a conversationalist, is he? Doesn't have to be. Just needs to be able to hit hard. Conversation is secondary to usefulness in this party. Let's keep going. Right, we need to, uh, oop, there is a, uh, a foe. We could take you out, in theory. Well, we're gonna have to attack you, I think. So, we'll be able to see Ankrag here in action. There we go, Ankrag getting a hit in for a grand total of zero. Yeah, I think this can only be hit with magical weapons, so, uh, Ankrag not gonna be very useful there. So, we're looking for the obelisk. The obelisk is not here. Okay, that is the village. So if we head southwest, we can get to where the beggar is. And maybe we could offer the beggar some water. That would be nice. So we are filling in a few holes. Now, did I mark where the beggar is? Uh, no, I didn't mark where the beggar is. I really should have marked where the beggar was on the map. We might be looking for a little while. Okay, we're near the village. If we go... Okay, we're nearly there. Nearly there. More ruins? We're heading back to Muha. I think there are a few things we can do there. Plus, this might be a good opportunity to give Ankrag some rest. So close to the village is this creature, yet it doesn't attack. Maybe Antipod wards them somewhat. Ha, <laughs> I doubt that. I 
doubt they get any protection out here. Okay, we can't talk to you. You genuinely are just an... NPC. Right, if we go... Not to your tent, but if we go to any of the other tents, we can see if there's an NPC in them. So that's where the daughter is, that's the supplies. So if I go into this tent here, we can see NPCs, NPCs. Oh, this is not going to help me at all. Uh, not all of them have NPCs, though. Not all of them have NPCs. Quite a few of them have items, but not all of them have NPCs. Yeah, you're not who I'm looking for. You're not who I'm looking for. Right. Um, let's see. This isn't where I'm looking. Uh, one with only one NPC. That's what I want. One with only one. So there's one NPC there. There's one NPC there. One NPC there. Let's go to the northernmost tent. That northernmost tent seems like a good candidate. Really should have marked where the beggar is. Uh, nope, not you. Uh, the one next to that? No. There's one in the tent to the south. This one. Is it this tent? Nope! I really should have marked where the beggar was. We'll find him. Can't have gone far. So there's one there, and some over here. Right. Northernmost tents! Like this tent here. Okay, two people here. Not the tent I want. Not the tent I want. This tent? Nope, also not the tent I want. Uh, south then. There are some tents to the south. We'll go have a look at those tents. It's a shame that they're all uh, marked as just NPCs. It's not like NPC you can talk to. Yeah, this one has two people in it. Uh, there's a tent to the south that might have someone that we can talk to. Ah, it's you! Here you are. This is who we're looking for. I'm gonna save, by the way. See if I can hand you some water. Why not? Let's see if we can have a conversation with you. Alms for the poor. Alms for the poor old man. Come now. A cup of water? A coin? A biscuit? Come now. You can spare these things. Increase the worth of your soul today. Ease the pains of an old man. No, we actually can't give you any supplies. Huh. So we'll go through this dialogue again. Actually, let's not go through this dialogue again. We can't actually give you any supplies. Huh. We'll just leave this here for you. Just leave this here. Thank you. You're so kind. And we'll rest. Now, we've done that. We can cast Create Water. Perhaps the regen of the troll doesn't reactivate until we have Ankrag at full health. Either way, it was worth checking to see if I could pass over some water. Now we're going to head over to that obelisk, which is over there. So, to the northeast. Agrag wonder where we go. We're heading indoors to an obelisk. We were directed there by a friend. Obelisk? It's a structure. A giant, tall structure. Like tent. Yes, it's a stone tent. That's one way of putting it. Let's keep our eyes peeled. For more things like that, for more things like that. How about they? 
At least having one person in the team who, uh... Is it only the, uh... Magic weapons that we can, uh... Yeah, that we can hit with? I think it is. It's only that sword. Maybe it's only plus three weapons that we get. Maybe it's only plus three weapons. Either way, we prevailed. And where we come back, folks, we've managed to get the party member I was looking for, and... We've returned to the obelisk after checking if we can give water to the beggar, which we can't. Maybe there's something I'm missing, maybe there isn't. By the way, we're here now, and finally, the next dungeon beckons, and it'll likely be a very challenging one. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.